Now, the intention here is to take a linear system of ordinary differential equations, non-homogeneous first order ordinary differential equations, such as this, for instance, although not this particular one, as it turns out, is to take such a system of ordinary differential equations, first order, and solve it. Now, there are two routes. You can either take the system and, by combining them, well, differentiating and combining them, form a higher order. With three of these, you could form a third order ordinary differential equation in terms of just one of the functions, and then having found that, substitute it back in. Or you may be lucky with these coefficients, and you might need only to go to a second order one in this case. Because depending on how many equations there are, how many separate functions there are, that would give the order of the higher order differential equation. You can either go up to a higher order ODE and solve that for one of those, and then substitute that back in, and then do the same again to another higher order one for the other ones and so on. Or you can take this route, which is going to involve the linear algebra. Now, this method is quite lengthy, but straightforward, and will remain the same no matter what combination you've got. Whereas trying to find these higher order ODEs could be quite cumbersome at times. The technique for the linear algebra would be, right, I've got this system. If I create a vector, y, made up of y1, y2, and y3, those being the three separate functions, all of a single variable, x. If you take y as y1, y2, y3, so that y dashed would be y1 dashed, y2 dashed, y3 dashed, no, they're not very readable, then you can form this system. y dashed would be 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3. Would be this 3 by 3 matrix times y plus this vector of x at the end, x, x squared, x cubed. I've got this system in terms of that matrix. If you were to diagonalize that matrix, you could disentangle them. You could decouple the equations. And that's the technique here. The first step would be this. Take that matrix, if you were just to call that matrix A, matrix A would be 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, and diagonalize it into this combination, where D, the diagonal matrix, will be the matrix of the eigenvalues, and P will be the matrix of the eigenvectors. Then I could rewrite this as Y dashed would be P, D, inverse of P, Y, plus just call that F just now. Of course, to get down to D, which is what's going to do the work for you, D is going to disentangle them, decouple them, then pre-multiply them all by the inverse of P. So inverse P Y dashed would be D times inverse P Y plus inverse P of F. And you can see where this is leading now. Carry out a substitution. Let some other vector, V, equal inverse of P Y. So that V dashed would be inverse of P, but just a constant y dashed, and I would have v dashed equals d v plus, and then that would change into some other vector of x. Now, with this, since that's a diagonal matrix, I can separate that into three separate ones. I'd have v1 dashed, which would obviously be a lambda one, v, whoops, plus whatever the first component of that was. v2 dashed would be a lambda two, v2, plus whatever the second component was, and v3 dash would be lambda 3, v3, plus whatever the third one was. Those little first order differential equations can be solved quite easily. They're nearly exact, integrating factors would do it, and then you can change them back again, and there's the answer. Now that's the outline of it. Now it'll take a, quite a bit of time to go through all this, so I'm going to split it into separate videos. And I'm not going to use this particular set, I'm going to use a simpler set. In fact, I'm going to do it both ways. I'm going to start with a higher order ODE, split it into three 
a system of three first order linear differential equations. And then go through this algebraic technique. The reason for that is I'm going to have an easy third order ODE, which I'll just solve the normal way, the complementary function and the particular integral, just to check the final answer. And then I'll go through the linear algebra just to show that I get the same answer as I get this way. So the plan is this then. I'm going to take this third order linear differential equation, which I'll just write down in this form of y triple dashed, minus 7y dashed plus 6y equals x squared. And then firstly, I'll solve it the usual way. So I'll just say I'm just going to I'm just going to solve by using the particular integral and the complementary function. Just solve as normal. That'll be the first video. So you can skip that if you like. Secondly, I'm going to decompose to three. First order ODEs and form a matrix equation. This will be the second video. Now in this decomposition I'll no longer be using Y as the function. I'll be splitting into three separate ones which will be Z's. So I'm going to form a matrix equation Z dashed equals AZ plus some vector, just of x at the end. The third step will be to diagonalize A. That will take a bit of time. The fourth step will be to use a substitution of W equal to PZ. Sorry, that should be the inverse of matrix P of eigenvectors in order to decouple, to disentangle the ODEs. The fifth step will be to solve each of the W. And then the sixth video will be to transform them back again. Transform the W's back to Z. And in most of these, wherever the technique becomes simple but lengthy and tedious, I'll speed it up a bit.